We know what, why Watson would say that, you know, he wants to come to a negotiated settlement. What do you think the rationale behind the NFL wanting to or at least being willing to discuss? You know, they came out and said Roger Goodell was adamant last time we talked. A year is what he deserves. So uh, how are they positioning that and, and why would they want to avoid, you know, the, the um, federal court? Uh, because there's been a decision already in, in this case by a retired federal district court judge who ruled that the National Football League did not give the players fair notice uh, that nonviolent sexual conduct could be disciplined as severely or more severely than violent sexual conduct. That's, that's an issue of law. That's a rule of law that goes to the heart of due process notice of the severity of the punishment that's a that's a that's an analysis or a finding that a federal judge in delaware ohio or even the southern district of new york could actually give credit to because it was written by a real federal a former federal judge as opposed to a decision that's being made by an appointee of nfl commissioner roger goodell so i think when you compare the credibility of the uh, the judges here, you're looking at an Article Three federal judge who served on the bench for 25 years versus someone who owes uh, a little bit of partisanship or has some bias, built-in bias towards the National Football League, there's a very good chance that Judge Robinson's reasoning could carry forward into a federal district court opinion, which would be uh, very harmful to the National Football League because then that would become binding precedent and could potentially be applicable to future cases involving NFL players who are uh, disciplined under the personal conduct policy. So it would be in the NFL's best interest to sort of wipe the slate clean and not have that kind of adverse precedent in federal court. And, you know, maybe an appeal, maybe a, a negotiated settlement is the way to minimize the harm because they've already had one judge rule against them in this case. Uh, and if this if this case moves forward in Delaware, uh, the NFL is going to be at, at in, in, in a severely risky situation because a, because a member of the Delaware federal judiciary is probably very likely to align with the reasoning of one of their former colleagues, Sue Robinson. So the NFL has a, a there's a very high likelihood here, or at least a decent chance that the NFL loses. Uh, round one in federal court at the district court level. And that's reason enough to settle the case. And of course, there's also jeopardy at the court of appeals level because this is not just a factual determination. It's not a weighing of the evidence. It's, it's an issue of law that permeates the entire fairness of the proceeding. And the NFL could be setting itself up if it doesn't settle for a loss in federal court at the district court level and then at the court of appeals uh, that's all the reason the league needs to negotiate a resolution.